you can believe or not believe her. That's I watched that. the video. It's not on the video, Judge. That's not what you asked. You said, isn't it true on the video you saw X? Stop that woman to destroy me. your Stop. phone? Turn it off. Are you threatening to destroy Turn my it phone? Off. Stop it. Turn it off. Nope. Get a life. Come on. Stop Stop disrupting it. everybody. Well, didn't you say, ma'am, on the video, when you when you watch the video and Mr. Reyes comes into the office, ma'am, don't you say you can't fill my customers? Yes or no? Yes, I do. Okay. So one of the reasons why you tell Mr. Reyes to stop filming is because he's filming your customers, correct? And those are your words on the video, correct? Objection on this is I'm going to object to the fact that you're raising the voice. There's no need for it. This is badgering. Thank you. If you could just state your name and business title for the record. Uh, Janice Gigler, Town Clerk. And if you could spell your last name for the record. G-I-E-G-F-A-R. Perfect. Thank you very much. May I proceed on? You may. Hi. Good afternoon, Ms. Gigler. Who do you work for? Uh, City of Denver. How long have you worked for the City of Denver? Seven years. And uh, what are your duties in that capacity? I'm a town clerk. So we, we oversee uh, all the records, uh, births, titles, JPs, liquor licenses. It's very multi. Um, and what are your working hours there generally? During the week? Um, Monday through Thursday, we're uh, 7.30 to 6, and on Thursdays, we're at 6.30, close on Friday. Um, I would like to now direct your attention to the date of July 15, 2021. Are you working that day? I was. And did anything come to your attention regarding an individual who wanted to uh, videotape certain areas within City Hall? Yes. And uh, did you meet with this person at some point? Yes. Where did you meet him specifically within City Hall? 15th, I believe, was in my office. And which is where specifically? Second floor of City Hall. Of the what? Down. Second floor? Second floor of City Hall, yes. Okay. And do you see that person in court today? I do. Uh, would you kindly point him out and describe what you're wearing? Well, we stipulate it's Mr. Rage. Uh, Mr. Rage's got on a black suit. So, so the counsel's going to stipulate that, that uh, he is present in the court. Um, and you have begun to identify him as the individual who is the defendant in this case. So the record can reflect that. Continue. Thank you. Uh, do you know a person by the name of uh, Phil Janusa? I do. And how do you know him? He was the security guard. At that time on July 15, 2021? Mm -hmm. And uh, do you know how long, roughly, if you could, to the best you remember, he may have been working there when he was first hired by the city hall? I do not know when he was first hired. I just know that they hired Allied Services to, to oversee. So Allied Services then provides a security guard for City Hall because she contracted Allied Services? Mm -hmm. And that's what happened presumably with Mr. Trusa? Yes. At this time, Ron, I'd like to uh, 
show one of, one of the files. I think this was shown yesterday, but not with this witness present for the testimony. It's the afternoon, for the record, it would be the afternoon of July 15th. The judge, just for the record, I, are you? What? Just for the record, and this is a part of the full exhibit that would be subject to any motions and that it's already been played. Or well, the motion to the has already been granted. So yes, then further motion as to whether or not there's any yes. hearsay exceptions from anything. Right. So, <laughs> so uh, are you going to go right to this period where she appears? Uh, or are you going to play the longer portion of it before she? Probably more because presumably she may have been in the hearing shot of some of the things before she appears. On the right, so you're you're definitely trying to take some uh, precautions to avoid redundancy. Um, Yes and yes. Okay. In some ways, to the extent I'm able to, with, without, with, while still keeping in proper context. Understood. Guys, so we just left the Danbury Police Department. We're here at Danbury City Hall again to accomplish our original mission was to peacefully exercise our First Amendment right here. So we're back here. Looks like the uh, security guard that he uh, assaulted me is here, chumming it up with the sergeant here. So, uh, must be a friend. Hopefully that doesn't uh, prevent the Danbury PD from doing their job. But, uh, let's go in, see what he's got to, uh, he got anything to say about his actions. Cause the warrant's been submitted to the state's attorney's office here, so. May I have first the witness? I'm sorry, may I first the clip, please, Your Honor? Of course. Uh, Judge, just uh, as, a, as a matter, just for my purposes of the record, if the tape is stopped, would there be any objection to just providing the time that the state is? No, I haven't. So we have That was an oversight of my part. This is at the, I just stopped at the 49th century mark. Thank you, Your Honor. It's also on the screen here at the extent counsel could read it. Oh, I, I wish. <laughs> as do I. <laughs> part of age. Um, then you said more clerk. May I approach the witness, please, Your Honor? Yes. Ms. Gable, I'm showing you for the record what's been previously been a state's exhibit three. Do you recognize what's in that photograph? Yes. And that is what? You're referring to the scientist? Yes. That's the uh, welcome to Danbury. No, I'm sorry, this one here. Oh. This? Yes. All visitors must sign in? Yes. Were, yes. You, were you aware that that was on the door that day? Yes. And that's just on the video that we just saw? Yes. I don't need any help, sir. How you doing? So this is our first time they're allowing us to come upstairs and walk around in City Hall, which I should have been allowed to do from the get-go, but uh, you know, everybody learns eventually. This is the gentleman that's going to be arrested and hopefully fired for his uh, egregious actions here today. Security guard, Phil. I have to stop for a moment. For the record, this is the 219 mark. Do you recognize that area that's on the footage in the video? Yes, I do. How do you recognize that? It's the tax collector's office. It's the one prior to ours.
what we just saw at the 226 mark, let's say, what was panned? What was the assessor's office as well? Not quite yet. No, the, the, let me just back it up for one second. If I just back it up for a few moments. Right there. What is this? Is for the record. I stopped at the 223 mark. What is that? Tax collector. Tax collector? Tax collector. Tax You can't film in here. Nope. You're not allowed to film over the counter. Okay, so no, I, can, I can film in here. I can. No, you can't. No, you can't. Yes, yes, I can. No, you can't. Why? What is so hard? But what is so hard for you guys to understand that I'm allowed to film in public? No, you're, not. you're not allowed to. Film I don't understand. I'm not here being unreasonable. That. You are. I can film people and customers. You might want to get the attorney back down here. No, you can do that. I don't, I don't need to. I know what I'm doing is right. I wouldn't get any more trouble than you're already in. Buddy, you're really forcing the envelope. No, you know I wouldn't get any told, more trouble. You can film the walls. You can film the hallways. I can film anywhere no, in public. No, you're not. You cannot come in a department, disrupt it, and film I'm over the counter. I'm not disrupting anything. You're filming over the counter. You're not allowed to do that. I'm, I'm allowed to film no, anywhere not. I can no, see from not. public. Yes, you're I can. You're not allowed to come in a department and film over the counter. Phil, listen. Sean, you don't want to. You don't want to. You don't, don't want to get involved. You don't want to get involved yeah, in things that you, you're, you're already. Into. You know what? I don't care. You're not going to do it you're on already, my watch. That's fine. You're not gonna on do your it on watch, watch. You're not going to be working here care. very That's long. That's fine. That's fine. I'm not going to. I don't you got care. a couple more days That's at fine. most. Who cares? I don't care. The you're warrant. The film. warrant's been sent. You're good. The warrant's you're not going to film. You're not going to film. You're going to want to surrender yourself soon. You're not going to film in here. Okay. You're not allowed to. We were told by the officers. You're not allowed to come into. No, I was not. You're not allowed to film over the counter. I can film wherever no, I'd like not. in well, public. You're not gonna. You're yes, not gonna. I am. I am right now. Oh, well, you're not. I'm going to block you. you. I mean, you can do that That's if you'd fine. like. You can do whatever you'd like. You could just keep getting in my way. Keep, keep uh, representing Allied That's Universal in the fine. city of Danbury the way you That's are. That's fine. You were told you're not allowed to come into a department and film over the counter. That's wrong information. Just because you got wrong information doesn't make it true, right? So that you, just because you're getting bad information. Oh, do you? You know, save you're a security it, guard. You're supposed to observe it, and report. You do, you're not supposed to put your you hands on me. All you are is an instigator. You got in my face. All I didn't you get are in your is an face. instigator. Lie. All you are is an lie. instigator and like to start you're trouble. You're a liar. You need to get a life and a nope. job. You need, That's fine. You need That's to fine. get another job. That's, That's what you need. That's fine. You That's better fine. find another That's job. Fine. That's fine. You better find another job. Yeah, don't touch me. And don't touch my camera. You're not going to film in here. Don't touch me. Don't touch my camera. So why so 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 why don't you call Danbury Police Department and have me arrested for, for filming? We don't want to bother them again with your nonsense. Oh, okay. okay. So because you know it's not true. It's just not true. No, you guys it's true. It's not. And I'm asking you to get out in the hallway. I'm I'm not gonna leave, ma'am, only because I have I have a right to do it. No. Okay, obviously that's you uh just giggle on the tape. Uh, the 
520 mark, right? Okay. okay. Why did you ask uh, the defendant, Mr. Rice, to get out to the hallway? Because he was, you know, obstructing the work of what we were doing in the office, um, being intrusive, and he was not listening to what we were trying to say to him. Our, our files are confidential. We have people at the counter been giving out social security numbers. Um, we have people with births, dates, um, and they're not allowed to film across the counter. In fact, we have a policy for in the vault uh, for people that are going to even look to take pictures of the books. They have to pay a, a fee for uh, scanning purposes. I may have another doctor to work for ID this time. Here's showing the counsel for the record. The witnesses. Yeah. Okay, Ms. Gigler, I'm going to show you for the record what's been marked for ID only at this time. The state's is your file. Would you kindly take a moment and look at that document? This is the policy that was issued by the uh, mayor's office and in HR as it related to um, visitor entry into the city hall. Okay, and was that policy in effect as of Ju July 15, 2021? It was. Were you familiar with that policy? Yes, because the, um, the, the mayor's office and the RHR department um, monitored what, what was going on during COVID within the building. And they were sending to the department heads uh, regular emails with attachments on policies that they were implementing in the building. Do you know if that piece of paper, a copy of that policy in paper was somewhere at City Hall on the on July 15, 2021, to your knowledge? Yes, there, there was one that was down on uh, Phil's desk downstairs. At the lobby when you first walk in? Yes. Was, as you look at that document now, was it made in the regular course of business? Was it made? Yeah, that, to your knowledge, was it made in the regular course of business? No, it was it generated shortly after the policy came into effect? Okay, yeah. Was it? Yeah, because they send it to us, and uh, the department heads, I know I put off everything in my office that, that I got, and especially those that deal with the public, they were putting that on their doors. So it would have been the regular course of business to make such a document? Yes. And was it made, was a policy, this piece, this document, if you will, was created and made shortly after the policy was uh, decided? Yes, the, uh, the, the, most of the ones that are here down in the lobby were put down there by the, the mayor's office. And you said you had a, a recollection that it was done on this day, July 15, 2021. Yes. That was there the, already, yes. In the lobby when you first walked in the double doors. Favorite office of full exhibit. I'm presuming this thing is offering as a, a full exhibit over a hearsay objection because it's a business record. I would that's, so, that's correct. And you I have made no objection. Are you? I'm, no, I, I'm asking to what here, and then I would make my objection. Well, you didn't do that either, but that's not you are. So you may want to. Yes. Usually, the court's not in a rush to hear me ask any questions or do anything. <coughs> um, and um, you said this document was prepared in the ordinary course of business? Yes. And, oh, hold on a moment. What is it? Yes. So, I see here. So, uh, we have some mics strategically placed, or maybe not in your mind strategically placed, to be able to pick you up. Monitor in the case that she's having trouble picking you up. Okay. You either speak up from there or uh, your microphone at the council table will pick you up. There's a microphone near the jur near the witness stand which will pick you up as well. Thank I you. just and I just assume you're gonna want to preserve the record. Thank you, sir. Um ma'am, are you the custodian of records for the we town are. clerk? Yeah. Okay, and um, I think you mentioned is it your duty to keep the copy of this visitor and entry policy in your office? Not that particular one, no. Okay. I, I don't keep emails. And in fact, it's the email that precipitates what's in the contents of this visitor and entry policy, correct? That's how we receive it, yes. And that email was sent to you by somebody else, correct? Correct. And they're the ones that keep the email in the policy, correct?
And you didn't create it, correct, ma'am? No, I did not. And you said it was distributed to a couple different departments, as far as you know? All departments, yes. Okay. So if you don't keep the record, let me just go back. You're not the custodian of this record, correct? No, I'm not. Okay, Judge, I, I, would, uh, I would object on the basis that um, we're talking here about a computer file, which is an email. We have a witness on the stand that has indicated she's not the custodian of this record. And we have a, a, a testimony, uh, if you take both sides of the testimony, that clearly indicates that it's not her that makes it in the ordinary course of business. So for today's purposes, this is not a witness that can um, overcome a hearsay objection to the policy. Personal knowledge of how the uh, of how the document is generated is enough. She doesn't have to be able to generate the document. She doesn't have to be the custodian of the record. You know that. I know that. Well, Gex is overruled. Okay. But just for the record, it's a computer What's generated record, email. Got the parents. Thank you. I I take it based on the court's ruling that the unless there's no more objections. If, if the objections are not admissible because email and not an actual writing off the printer. And if she doesn't, isn't the one that actually keeps the record and has generated the record, those objections are overruled. It's a business record for foundation. So just, just one minute. Thank you. And I think I just, just wanted to add that she's not the custodian of records. No, overruled. Ruthie, it's a document that coming as a police that you Well, is it? May have the document, please, where the schedule was affixed to the document on the back. Does council, does council have that document? Oh, yes. I'd have to have Mark. So the clerk has a record of it. That's the full exhibit. Thank you. Uh, with the court's permission, I would like to read the document with the witness, please. I just want, with the court's permission, the witness to read it into the record now that it's a full exhibit. It's not very long. If you could just read it into the record. Uh, <coughs> it's now a full exhibit. The kid goes to exhibit five. If you can just read it out loud, please. Hold on. Judge, the document speaks for itself. It's a full exhibit. I don't know that it's necessary. and It's probably cumulative to read it into the record. Understood. I'm going to allow it to read, right? It's, it's, it's one, one page, and the, the font is big. The font is big. OK. So you want to? Yes, please. Yeah. Visitor and entry policy, city hall policy is that anyone seeking entry to this public facility must obtain a visitor pass, and the pass must be returned upon completion of their business in the building. This is necessary both for COVID prevention, for public safety, security, and the privacy of the people's business where appropriate. Anyone filming or otherwise engaging in activity other than access accessing a business office within the building may do so upon notification to the guard on duty and complete a visitor form. They may therefore conduct such activity respectfully in the public hallways. The city reserves the right to prohibit or limit such activity where overriding need or concerns exist involving disruption or public safety or where the city hall building use policy is the more appropriate process for the business visit. In no event may such filming or other video or photography occur at or across any counter of division point between an office foyer and the work area where employees and documents are being processed or submitted. Please feel free to ask questions regarding the above described policy of the City of Danbury's Corporation Council. Okay. Um, I would just ask to continue. We'll continue with the video, please, John. Not going to be that important. I, I do this. This is All public. Right. Nobody has no, an, can I, I explain to you why? Because nobody has an expectation of privacy in public. That's you law. Can have
the four walls. You can film the walls of the building. That's what he was told. You can film no. the counter. But that's wrong but information. Cannot. No, it is. Unfortunately, You're it's mistaken. wrong. No, you this is know. what I this is what I do, man. I know. This it's is what I do. You disrupt people. No, no, no. That's my job. My job Disrupting is to expose tyrants like you. Not no, a tyrant. You that's my job. I do my job very well. That's my job. My job is to expose people like you. You cannot disrupt my office. I'm not. You are disrupting. He is disrupting my office. No, you are disrupting my office because you're not supposed to film the people in my office. I can film so in I that. can film in the public area. So you can leave and go outside. Okay, outside, I'm conducting sir. business. I need to get you're FOIA. I need business. I need to you're I need FOIA trouble. requests. I need FOIA you're request forms. Trouble. I need FOIA request I don't request. have FOIA request forms. At the town clerk, you don't have FOIA request forms. No, you write them. You send me a letter on your letter. You have FOIA request forms, ma'am. Yes, you do. You need to get Sir, you need to get I, your hands off. You need to get your hands off me. You need to get your hands off me. You can if you'd like, because they're gonna. Right, I'm gonna ask you a question. This is on the uh, 626 mark. Where was the defendant holding up his camera when he was speaking to you? Was it on wayside? Was it midsection? Was it high? Was it shown in front of his face? In front of his face. And how close was he to you when he was doing it? Could you say? Pretty close. That's why um, Phil had his arm up. Objection, Connor. You discerned it. It's not responsive. The question was close, and the witness is explaining that's why Phil is doing something. So I would just say this is a move to strike the hold. Um, how did you, let me ask you this. When he was holding it up the way you described, how did you, how did you view that? How did you react to that? I just, I just thought that it was kind of rude because he's not talking to me face to face. I was talking to a camera, my cell phone. And why did you ask him twice to step outside of that office? Because I had individuals in there. I had um, customers. I had my my staff in there, and he's not supposed to be there. He didn't have a visitor's pass either. Um, he had no business in my office. I asked him. Um, although that may have been another time or so. And would you ask him to leave twice? Did he, did he appear to adhere to your request? No. And he did not? No. Uh, did you take any um, action with respect to your staff in terms of placement? Not that particular day, no. Um, uh, were you, was anybody ever in a vault or anything of that nature? Not that particular. I'm sorry, what was the, what was, was the anybody question? ever placed in a vault? But he said not that day. She it was the answer. Okay. You said multi -term. A few moments ago, the tape. They look like people near the computer. Were they staff, if you know, or people trying to use those computers? If, if in front of it, it was public trying to use computers. And my, I don't know how much I'm supposed to go, but the individual that's to my right is my assistant who is escorting in two customers, according to us. Okay, the woman who appeared to have relatively long blonde hair? Yes. And that, again, is at the 826 marks. I'm sorry. My mistake. Six, six twenty-six more. Did, I'm sorry. Did you say she was escorting customers into your office? Yes, I saw her escorting them in. People okay. wouldn't come in. Meanwhile, we played five seconds back or so. So I stopped it now at the six twenty-three mark. The two people, they both appear to have masks on. Those are members of the public? Yes. Okay. And then the person behind you, you see a little bit of blonde hair, if you will. That's your person who works for your office. Yes. You can, if you'd like, because they're going to tell you you're wrong, man. That's why. Listen, man, you've got to stop. You've got to stop. It's not worth it. What? He's not doing his job. This is not your job. Well, I think if I heard you correctly in the tape, you said it is his job, meaning you were referring to the security guard. Why were you of that opinion? So he was there to assist to fully remove him from the premises. 
Because that's not my job. What, what portion of that is that? 6.5? Yeah. 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 Stop. No. You need to stop. Phil, I'll get him up. You need to stop. Just stop it. Just stop what you're doing. Please no. stop what you're doing. We're it's not no it's, it's not leave. necessary. This is not necessary. Yes, it is. I'm not a threat to you. You know that. You're I've been here. I'm an annoyance. You're an annoyance. You're an annoyance. That's what you are. You're an annoyance. Once you get a, a life and get a real job, you're an annoyance instead of going and around and busting people's chops, you're and, an annoyance and, and, and a tyrant. And you're disrupting everything. Stop touching you're me. You're not coming in here. Stop I'm not touching you. Stop leaning on me, buddy. Stop touching me. Stop leaning on me. Get out. Stop touching me. Politely. I'm not leaving, ma'am. Well, you're, re you're filming against the rules. You're not told you're not supposed to film. Stop and you're it. disrupting. Stop it. Stop it. I'm Stop sorry. it. For the last Stop time, it. you cannot film Stop over it. the counter. Stop it. Can Tell film. I can film. Okay, where are you at? For the record, I'm stopping at the 843 mark. At the 843 mark, where are you right now on the second floor of City Hall? In the doorway of my office. I'm sorry? In the doorway of my office. Okay, and the person who was down the video, uh, again, at the uh, E43 mark is who, for the record? Who, on the still shot? Which one? The individual right there, uh, without the mask. Um, that's Les Pinter, Corporation Council. Okay, and the person on the counter, presumably the customer. customer. Okay. <laughs> we just have one. Anywhere that publicly accessible, but Mr. Not attorney. But not my employees and not my customers. I can, you have no expectation of privacy in public, which the attorney should let you know. You should let her know that. All right. Would you do, Sir, do this? Up so you're not on this camera Jan, with this guy. Jan. There is no ex you, expectation. The door lock the door. You're closed. He, wouldn't, he won't get out. That's the problem. I'm telling you, okay. close your door and lock the door. So okay. you're refusing pu services yes. to the public? Yes. Okay. Yes. Great. Because... So now let's go over here. That, that I'm not just there is no disruption by peacefully filming, sir. What did I say earlier? The I, I don't need I don't listen. Yeah, I just stopped at the 916 mark. Uh, is that another office at that point that, they, that is being viewed in on, uh, the second floor of City Hall? Yes, that's the assessment office. And that's across from your office? Correct. Yeah. 
listen to your rules. I listen to the law. I listen to the law. And as attorney, as an attorney, you should know the law. Really? You were you told should. you can film the hallways oh, and the walls. On. You cannot go into a department and film over the counter. Stop you want touching me to destroy me. your Stop. phone? Turn Stop. it off. Are you to destroy Turn my it phone? off. Stop it. Turn it off. Nope. Get a life. Come on. You cannot go into a department and film over the counter. Stop you want touching me to destroy me. your Stop. phone? Turn it off. Are you threatening to Turn my it phone? off. Stop it. Turn it off. Nope. Get a life. Come on. Stop, Stop disrupting it. everybody. Phil, Phil. He's going to cost Phil. you a lot of money. They're going to get pissed. Can you call them? They're mad at me for paying you. Call them. They're going to get mad at you because you're making a big deal for no reason. No, because you're wait. You you think about it. You had three guys come out this morning. Listen to me. You called them. Just listen, yeah, because you, you, them. Don't, you don't take a card. You don't sign in. You're disruptive. I don't they need came, to. Those three officers could have been on another side helping out. All you're doing you is called them. Up. You Sean, called them. I'm sorry, you called friend. them. You need to get a you job and get a life. You called them. You need to get a life. Yeah, let's go out tonight because taxpayers have, that's the problem is taxpayers have business going on. They, yeah, but they have they no here. expectation of privacy in public. Don't touch me. I keep telling you that. You are let's causing the disruption. You are causing the disruption. Let's talk out here. Go out here. Come uh, on. Do you want me to take him out? I doubt. I doubt he's going to say on. yes. Just, just come on. Come on. Out here. Go, go stop out pushing me. Yeah. Stop pushing me. Stop. Stop pushing me. Stop. Stop pushing me. You can do whatever you'd like. You can do whatever you'd like. I'm not causing any disturbance. I want to peacefully. I want to peacefully record and exercise my First Amendment right. You're not allowed to record over a counter. Yeah, get off of me. Phil, you need to Stop. call the police. Did mind. you guys call the people? Did you want out? Tell them to come right away. Yeah. It's all right, so we'll just wait here until the police come. Look. And they're going to tell you Look. the same thing that I'm telling you. You're an attorney. I don't understand how you don't know these things. You, let me tell you something. I explained this morning what the rules were, reasonable rules. No, that's not reasonable rules. You can't, you can't what, what put... What did I say that you, you could can't, do? No, you said I cannot film that. behind the counter. That's what you said. Correct. I'm not filming behind the counter. I'm filming... Exactly everything I could see You're from public. Workers. Yeah. It doesn't matter. They have no expectation of privacy in public. You should know this. Why? Why are you? Why are you ignorant of the law? These are these are the. Rules Do you have expectation of privacy? In, is there an expectation of privacy in public, sir? Has the courts ruled that you have a, not, that? Has the courts ruled that you have a, a privacy that you're that I, that you can be it, it, that it's privacy in public? This is public, correct? This this. Facility has established rules. That doesn't what matter. What people can do. That doesn't matter. It does because that doesn't matter. Place, you does. can't put rules that infringe on my rights. You can't you, do that. You also can't override our rules. I can because I don't override. Adopted. I don't. I don't override them. The Constitution overrides it, not me. The Constitution. Your rules are unlawful. They're this, against the Constitution. They violate about, rights. We can talk about stuff all day. This is not a sandbox. There are people here doing business. In yeah, and I'm not here to interrupt any business. I'm here by to peacefully filming, record. I'm here to. Are disrupting I am a journalist them. gathering content for a story. That's what I'm doing. And you're going to keep all you're doing. Look, the tax assessor closed. Town clerk's office closed to the public. You see? Closed. Right. Well, see, see, no that's, services. That's the disruption. No, that's, that's you. That you caused. That you caused. That you caused. To arrest you. No. Based on your experience with City Hall, you seven years you've worked here. Uh, what occasions? Why? Why would doors to those two offices, for example, be closed? What would prompt that? A situation like this. There, um, our offices were always very open. COVID changed all that changed all the policies on how we operated at City Hall. Okay, and the, the closing of the doors before, for example, under these circumstances, why would they be closed? 
aspects of the dis disruption to the office. He didn't have a visitor pass to allow him in the office. Um, that was very restrictive. We had that as an order that that someone had to register, and only four individuals were allowed in our office at that time um, that had business in the office. They weren't allowing walk-ins. That's not true. You're causing a disruption. That's not true. Now. Nope. You can not disagree true. with it. But that's a, constitutionally, it a constitutionally protected activity can't be turned into you a crime. You know what your protected activity is? To walk the hall, take your pictures. And to go into publicly accessible not, areas and to take pictures. Not to yes, disrupt. I can. I'm no, not. You can't. Yes, you I can. Can't disrupt the operations. I can't wait to litigate this with you in court. Go for it. Can't wait. You know what? Stand it's gonna in be line. great. Stand it's gonna be great. Line. Stand in line. You, you guys, you guys, you guys have a lot of uh, litigation Stand coming. Stand in line. You know. You know what you do with this kind of stuff is you disrupt. You're gonna be litigating for a while. Bring it on. There you go. Bring it on. Go ahead. And we'll see if a judge agrees with what, how, what court you're court doing right here now. today. Go to the court right now and oh, it's file coming. Your papers. It's coming. I'm waiting for all the relevant documentation, all the relevant body camera footage. But you know, you can play this nicely. I'm, I'm trying to. Instead. I'm trying to. Here's the professional part. The rules of engagement are the city hall hallway is open to you. You can walk down, up and down, you take pictures. Anywhere that's around, publicly accessible. Write your story. But you don't decide what's publicly accessible. Yes, I, if it's open and there it's publicly places, accessible, I explained it's to you open. That there are places that are not open for yeah. journalists to just film at random. Yeah, that, that, well, be, that would be a that would be called a, that would be called a restricted then, area. Then you challenge it. That if would be called a restricted the, area. Here's a way to look at it. There's policies in place that say you can't do it. If you want to challenge it, you can challenge it. Go ahead, challenge it in court. But mm -hmm. you can't challenge which, it here. Which 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 I am doing. You mm -hmm. cannot challenge it here because you're disrupting. Public business. You are, not me. Sean, did you, you are. see the line on the, did you you see the sign on the door when you came you this are. morning? Listen to me. Did you see the sign? I don't All, I don't all visitors sign. must sign in. There's still post pandemic. You were supposed to take a car. You circled around me and like you're some special human being. You got not take, special. Well, you, Anybody you, can do it, no, not just me. You're not that these are the rules that they've implemented. Anybody here. can why do it. Why can't you play by the rules? Anybody can do it. Because why? the rules violate my constitutional yeah. rights. That's what I'm trying to so say. Me, here. I'm just curious. I'm gonna ask you something. I'll show the council. Now, what's been marked face exhibit six for ID? Would you take a moment and look at that? Mm -hmm. How do you recognize that? And what is the operative date? Uh, July 15th, uh, 2021. Okay. That was a Thursday? Correct. Um, and uh, each, presumably each visitor comes in and signs it Correct. as requested. And where they have to go. And, where they were going. and that's on there as well. Correct. So the name is on one row. And the, on the same rows where the what office they, they intend to go to. Correct. Okay. My request: Did you look at this? Did you see Mr. Ray's name on any of these? No, I did not. Again, is this made the regular course of business in terms of assignment? Yes, they would sign in, and then they were handed a card for the respective department that they were going to. And that would be consistent with the policy that was in place. Correct. Uh, was it regular course of business to have such a sign-in sheet? During COVID, yes. yes. And it was obviously made or created as people are, are coming and going. Correct. And then they would be <coughs> to the guard, and then the next, the next person, if there were more than four in our office, they couldn't come up. But the car get returned, and then the next person was allowed to go. Okay. So the car gets returned when the person intends to exit the building, Correct. and the car is then given to the next entry. Correct. They would offer the full exhibit. Three, four, dear young. Ma'am, you indicated that the security people were responsible for this visitor lock? Correct. Okay, and um, you're the town clerk, correct? Correct. Are you the custodian of the visitor lock? No, I'm not. Did you create anything inside the visitor lock? No, I did not. You're responsible for any of the content in the visitor lock? No, only to check it. Okay. Uh, do you know where the visitor's lock was created or how it was created? 
It would just be my guessing. Okay. Well, I'm not asking you to guess. That's fair enough. And you don't have a duty to keep this visitor log uh, in your office, correct? I do not. It's not part of your duties as town clerk to keep this visitor log, correct? Correct. And so, with respect to the information contained, I'm just going to show you what we've been already shown. Just for the first page, for example. Okay. I'm sorry, man. Do you know whether anybody on the list has a duty to report anything? Do you know? Could you rephrase that? Yes. Sorry, what do you mean? Um, there's a bunch of names on the uh, on the uh, first page of the uh, report of signing sheet. Mm -hmm. um, can you tell me what duty any of those people have to report? I couldn't from that. I thought. Okay. And is that because uh, it's actually Phil who does all the entries? You know, the people would write their own names in there. Okay. Um, take a quick look at that. Isn't that all kind of the same handwriting? Some of the handwriting was done um, due to the, the multicultural nature of our city. So I don't understand. So if they were or they don't understand to write it, he would do it sometimes. He would just write it in for them and ask them to spell their name. And is that part of the policy if somebody um, if there's a multicultural issue comes up, uh, is that part of the policy to help them sign in? You would assess. And, and are these signatures, to your knowledge, are these signatures of people who came to town hall? You know? On that particular day, I would have known if they were in my office, yes. Fair enough, but as I show you the exhibit as it's attempting to be introduced, mm -hmm. um, with respect to that, uh, do you recognize signatures of individuals on there? So, Judge, I would object to the visitor log coming in because this guy there is not the custodian of this record. Which we know is not part of the subject. Just for my record, I'm uh, stab myself in the back. No, no. Anyway, um, that having been said, she has no knowledge of the content of the document. Um, she doesn't keep the document. It contains hearsay. Uh, and among other things, it's not generated by her office. It's one of with respect to the, uh, the other exhibit. Yeah. Um, what's the point here? So I'll, I'll get to that on the cross. But, um, and in addition to that, uh, even if you credit uh, what we're not sure of is contained in the document, it's information um, created by the public uh, which, have, which have no duty to uh, keep the record or, or maintain the record. So on that basis, it's... What you're saying is, so it's not generated the regular course of business because the public signs their names? Um, What's the, the, con the contents of the document, among other it's things? It's offered for a bit as a business record. Correct. So you know the foundation for a business yes. record. What is the objection to having the matter enter as a full exhibit under the business record exception to hearsay? In addition to what I've stated, it also contains information um, that is presumably provided by members of the public who have no business duty to keep the record or otherwise report, and that is an element of the business record as I understand it, but I've been told, I've been around so is, is that your objection? Yes, it is. Your Over. Thank you. May, may the clerk please write as a full exhibit, John. And to your knowledge, the uh, the state's exhibit six, which is now a full exhibit, is kept by the city hall. Correct. And they retain such records for over a period of time. Correct. Right. Your rules violate my constitutional right. That's what I'm trying to say. You've been here before. You filmed. What? What are you trying to? I never like, felt. You never let me upstairs. You. You came around. You were filming everything. Did you? Downstairs. Did you allow me to come upstairs? No, because you didn't comply with the rules. You didn't okay. Fill, you didn't. You didn't take a courtesy card. You didn't. Your, sign your rules. Name. Respectfully, your rules don't violate my rights. That's the only point I'm going to prove here today. Uh, I'm going to prove but it. But that's your opinion. Okay. That, no, that's that, that's You've just not it's black and white. Supported by a court of law. Have you been supported by a court of law? No. Have I've been, you been supported by a court of law in that proposition? Yes. I will no? be. 
I will be. How you have them, soon. I will be. But have you? I will be. Because normally town halls aren't this dumb to just to do this. I've been to many town oh, halls okay. so and, not, we're, we're and, not, and not and not and not maybe just ignorant. I'm, not, I, I'm I'm sorry for saying dumb. Maybe you're just ignorant of the law. But maybe. I've been to many town halls and no one has ever given me this many problems over filming in public because it's a constitutionally protected activity. Let, let, let me let me respond to that by telling you that the people who are working in these different offices work very hard. And they're trying to protect their public customers who are coming in to fill out documents. Yeah. Many of those not documents, filming documents. Many, many, many of these documents are on tables, on chairs, on counters, and they're out there and they're discussing business. And you want to insist on going in and filming around that mm -hmm. and taking a risk that the public's documents will be publicly viewed. Who needs that? No, uh, that's, that's a risk to yeah, people. That's, 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 that's not true. People. A lot of the public documents are public record, as you know. And Even they can be, and they could do, and they can do a, 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 a FOIA request. See, let, let, You're let, being unreasonable. Let, let's have a gentleman discussion for one second. You can film in the hallway. You can film in the foyer, maybe. But the documents, if you want to see them, look at them. You can. Did FOI I did them. I force those two women to come out of their office and stop working? You can FOI. Why are documents. they not working? You I didn't force them to leave their office and stop you working. Can, you can FOI. Why documents. are they coming over here and stop working? Because you're What's disrupting. Because you're disrupting. No, I'm not. He's allowed to film in the hallways. Which are, okay. He went into the departments. He's not allowed to film over the counter. He starts filming everything. He's disruptive. He's intrusive. And I'm tired of it. Mm -hmm. That's why I got Yeah, you're, you're already tired of it when you physically assaulted me earlier. I didn't physically assault you. You got my face it's on, on the camera. You. It's, it's on the camera. It's on the camera. It's on the camera. Don't fine. worry. That's fine. Well, you need to get a life. Can I, can, can I just get your name and badge number, sir? Just back up. Let me talk to him real quick. Just let me talk to him some space. Officer Contreras, 633. Thank you, sir. What's going on? Nothing. You just... were just at the PD? Yeah, I was just at the PD. Okay. Mm -hmm. Were you here earlier recording? Yeah, I was here earlier recording. And then you went to the PD? Uh-huh. And now you're here? Yeah, I'm here because I wasn't allowed upstairs. Okay. So I had to go to PD to file a uh, criminal complaint against this gentleman for assaulting me. Okay. So um, that's why I went to the PD to write a statement. Um, I'm here again because I'm a journalist okay. working on a story. Okay. I'm capturing things that are in public. That's all. Okay. They're they're telling. Over the counter, like they nope. Said? I went in. They they're what they're saying, officer, is that I can't even enter into the town hall office and record in the office, because if I do, they're saying that that is somehow against the law. Okay. But uh, as I'm sure you're aware, okay. I'm not putting my phone behind a camera. I'm not in a restricted area. Eyes can't trespass. Okay. So whatever I can see from public. I can record, record right? Right? Okay. right? Okay. So that's all. I don't. I'm not going into restricted areas. Yeah. I don't even want to talk to anybody. Right. I just want to walk around here, gather my content, and be on my way. Okay. But this gentleman over here wants to escalate. This, yes, okay. he wants to escalate the situation after he just put his hands on me. He obviously didn't learn his lesson. I felt bad for pressing charges on you because I was like, I don't want to ruin this guy's life. But guess what? You deserved it, buddy. So at the end of the day. He's out of control. He's causing a disturbance. You can't, I, I, I'm conducting a lawful activity. How can you turn that into a disturbance? I'm not doing anything wrong. I was very reasonable to the other officers, just like I'm being very reasonable with you. I just want to be, I just want to be quiet, record, exercise my First Amendment right to record in public. If they want to lock doors, if they want to start locking all their doors and, and close the access to the public, which is probably unconstitutional and probably wrong for them to do, not probably, definitely, because I should be able to enter in the town clerk's office and say, hey, can I get a FOIA request form? Hey, can I, can I get this from you? I should be able to ask for services, but they're preventing me from acting services. But that's right now, not your, now yeah, but that's, but that's not your problem because, you know, that's, that's something a court can handle in a civil okay. suit. But they're trying to get you to, to use your authority to arrest me or to prevent me from just simply engaging in a constitution. If they want to lock the doors, that's fine. Yeah. I'm not telling you to, hey, officer, they're locking the doors, arrest yeah. them. That's for a court to decide, right? They can do that, lock it, whatever. I think it's wrong, but what I'm saying is I'm not doing anything wrong. I just want to walk around town hall and film. That's all I want to do because I'm a journalist exercising my First Amendment right of freedom of press. That's it. Okay. It's very simple. Um, so just give my, he's obviously getting their side of the story. I got your side of the story. Mm -hmm. Obviously there's two sides to every story. I got to listen to them too. And, but this is another um, reason why I record because there's only one side of the story when, and th there's always two sides of the story, but then yeah. there's the truth. You know, sure. and then right. there's, there's the truth, ground, and right. then there's the truth, right? right. So, and the so camera don't lie. They decide uh, what's going on, or they tell my coworker, and then you're, you know, if you're recording okay. and you're not bothering anybody, and you're not obviously going over the counters. Yep, not going over the counter. I mean, I that's what I'm saying. Whatever. I don't understand.
I don't understand. Where did they accuse you of going with the camera? So uh, what I did was I just walked into this town clerk's office right here yeah. to ask her for a FOIA request form. And uh, as I walked in there, they, the security guard who assaulted me earlier got in front of me, said, you can't record in here. You can't record in here. I was like, yes, I can record in here. He's saying that I can't record in the office, in the town hall office, which is not true. Okay, um, I stopped it at the uh, 2025 mark on the sticker. But do you have a recollection of speaking to that officer that's on the tape uh, that day, along with, uh, with attorney, uh, his, his attorney? Okay, so which officer are we talking about? This is, I think, Officer Farrell. No, You're talking don't. about this officer here? Yes. Oh, that's true. Okay. I did not speak to him. Okay. Did you speak to any officer that day about the defendant's actions? Do you remember? Um, I I don't remember because he was there in the morning, um, but I have my dates mixed up. But okay, that's you. Is that no? Looking at no, this I came back out. You came back out. And why did you come back out? If you remember? Um, just to follow up to see if I could open my doors properly for customers. Okay. And with the police presence, did you feel more comfortable opening the doors? No, that was not the reason. What was the reason? Because we're there for the public and we're there for our customers and they were very have been had been very restrictive. We were closed for a long time. Um, and we were not able to service them. We were only able we had limited services during uh, when we were closed. Our office had to be open but we were operating partially in the parking lot. But so the fact that we had been open for people for specific reasons, I wanted to be able to service them. Okay, but you initially closed your door and the accessory door in this right. case because of the defense actions? Correct. I have no further questions, Your Honor. She does not appear on the video. Okay. It's 3.33-ish. Uh, this is a, almost exact perfect time for the afternoon break. We recess until 3.45, and then, then we come and try and onward to 4.30. Thank you. Uh, so we'll take our recess now. It's a natural breaking point. We'll begin the training sequence cross examination at 3.45. All right, of course, now recess. Thank you. Officer, Correct. Um, do you recall speaking with him that day? No. Uh, do you recall being in a room with uh, Mr. Painter that day, speaking to the police? Being in a room with Mr. Painter? Yeah. Did you ever have a conversation with the police while Mr. No, Painter was there? Uh, Isn't it true, ma'am, that you told the police on the 15th uh, in response to the police officer's question that Mr. Reyes busted into your office? Do you remember that? You don't remember that? Okay. Um, and then, with respect to the policy, the signing policy, I think you were showing exhibit three where it says, welcome to Danbury, all visitors must sign in, correct? Correct. And showed you what has been marked, I think, as um, state's exhibit six, which is the sign-in sheet. 
Is it your testimony? It states exhibit six, the sign in sheet contains signatures of the visitors. Correct. So that your testimony is you believe that um, the names on there are signatures of the visitors? Yes. You're not familiar with the handwriting, of course, of any of the visitors, correct? Okay. And do you notice on the sign-in sheet that the name of visitor and the name of visitor column, that each name is printed? Let me show you what's been marked as States Exhibit 6 again. So under the column where it says name of visitor, okay. all the names on that list are printed, correct? And you don't know who printed them, correct? So then what does sign in mean? You have to register your name in the city. Okay. And can you tell me now what registering your name in the city means? Well, our policy at that time was that an individual who came in who had business in the city had to register their name and get a visitor's pass. Okay. Let me show you what's been marked as States Exhibit 3. This is what you identified this morning as a visitor and entry policy. Do you recall that? It's a full exhibit now? I'm sorry, uh, for the record, that's Exhibit 5. Bishop. In, in Exhibit 5, it's the same where the people must register with the city. It says obtain visitor pass. Okay. So, as you sit here today, can you tell by looking at the purported sign-in sheet whether each of those individuals was given a visitor's pass? That's not my question. Can you tell, as you sit here today and you take a look at the sign-in sheet, that each one of those individuals was given a what's been referred to before as a hall pass? I can't make that decision. So the answer was no. No. And then, with regard again to the sign-in procedure. That would be Exhibit 6. You'd agree that Exhibit 6, something you identified this morning, correct? Was that posted on your door? Which one are you referring to? The exhibit in front of you, number 6, ma'am. Posted on my door? Yes. I, I can't remember. I was switching policies constantly, so I, don't, I can't tell you at what point, but I always put up that they were given by the, by the uh, HR. Well, let me put it this way. Um, as you see here today, uh, true or false, on July 15, 2021, that policy was posted on your town clerk's door. Okay. I can't recall. Yeah, sir, so the day of when we have the video, when Mr. Reyes walks in and the incident begins, you have no recollection whether or not that was posted on the door of your office. I so know. people would know what the policy was. You? I, just, I just had that one, if you just, oh, okay, I can't expand. The, I wouldn't expand that. So just for the record, the answer is you can't say that that policy was posted on your door, correct? No, I don't recall. Okay. And drawing your attention to Exhibit 6 again, does Exhibit 6 say that people are not allowed to film customers. So that's a no, correct? And 
Does the same policy that you just read contained in Exhibit 6, does it say people cannot film your employees? Well, it refers to the work, or work area where the employees are being processed. It refers to that. Does the policy say there is a prohibition against filming employees, ma'am? I'm going to object, Your Honor, on your question. This speaks for itself. Oh. It's, my, it would be my interpretation. Well, I'm asking you. I can tell you, it's not, to me, it's not a yes or no. And that may be. But for the purposes of this record, in Exhibit 6, does the exhibit contain words that say there's some blanket prohibition against filming your employees? May I just read that paragraph? You, you can look at it to yourself. Okay. If you don't recall, this exhibit's in front of you. He's asked you a question. I would have to say that. So, no, they're not supposed to. So that's in place. So it's in the note, correct? No. It doesn't contain that line, correct? No, I would assume that they're yeah, not yes, allowed that to. That wasn't in sight. No. Okay, all right. Yeah. Okay. The, 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 the question is whether or not that policy says people are not allowed to film city employees. That's what he's asking. If it doesn't say that, there's an answer. If it does say that, there's an answer. I'd say yes, it does say that. Where? Right here between right here. This this fourth paragraph. Read read where it says you're not allowed to film city employees. In no event may filming or other video or photography occur at or across any time between an office foyer and the work area where employees and documents are being processed and submitted. Okay, so in terms of blanket prohibitions, it's your interpretation of the policy that city employees are not allowed to be filmed at all? Is that your answer? In respect to them working. Okay. So it's not that you can't film city employees at all. It's that your interpretation is that you can't film city employees over a counter. Is that correct? Correct. Okay. Where in the clerk's office is the counter? It's the most office. As soon as you get into the front door, it's the counter. Right. Most of your office is the counter, correct? Objection to the form of the question. Most of your office is the counter? When you walk in. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll allow the question. The answer. Because you said most of your office is the counter, so he actually asked you the same question. But it's hard to show because you're not seeing it. So. Would it help refresh your recollection if we played a portion of the video? But you could see where the counter is, then. Would that help refresh your recollection as to where the counter is? Well, as you walk in the door, the counter is right across. Okay. And does it span pretty much the whole area of the office space uh, that's past the foyer? It spans the width of what the room is when you walk in the door. And then there's an extension on the side where there's public uh, computers. With respect to the sign-in procedure again, now, I think you're, or you're test, you testified earlier about what the purpose of the sign-in procedure was. Can you tell me what that was? Well, it was established by the HR department to monitor and record who the visitors were in the building. Okay. And uh, was there something uh, with respect to COVID that you testified earlier about? It's COVID policy. Is, is the sign-in policy uh, connected to COVID? It was. Okay. What about in your office? Is there anything posted about the policy being connected to a COVID concern? We had signs up about COVID throughout the whole time. On July 15th, you had COVID signs up in your office? Okay. Did you ever once tell Mr. Reyes the reason why he wanted him to stop filming was because of a COVID concern? I did not mention the word COVID. So if you're referring to a policy then, ma'am, 
safe to say you're not referring to that portion of the policy that is connected to COVID concerns, correct? It's policy. Fair enough, but what you're referring to when you're asking Mr. Reyes to stop filming has nothing to do with the COVID concern, correct? Well, I would say it did, because that was what the policy was, it was a COVID policy. I know what the policy is, but let me just try to do it this way. There came a point on July 15th when you were discussing matters, let's say, with Mr. Reyes, a specific reference to his conduct in your office. Would you agree with that? Correct. Okay. At no time did you mention the word COVID to him, did you? No. Okay. So there was a point, however, where you indicated he had to stop filming. Is that correct? Correct. Okay. When you indicated to him to stop filming, you weren't telling him to stop filming because of a COVID concern, were you? He wasn't going to give anybody COVID because he was filming in the office, correct? No. Okay. And at any time during that same conversation with Mr. Reyes on the 15th in your office, did you tell him that the reason why he was being asked not to film was because he did not sign in downstairs? No. And on the 15th of July, 2021, you don't even know whether he signed in downstairs, do you? He didn't have a pass. Okay. So you're connecting the absence of a pass with the claim that he didn't sign in, correct? Correct. Did you know his name on July 15th? Yes. What's his name? Reyes. Okay. So you knew Mr. Reyes was in the office. He didn't have a COVID concern. But you said you were concerned he didn't have a hall pass, so to speak. Is that correct? I saw he didn't have one. Okay. Did you tell him you're not allowed to film in here because you don't have a hall pass? Did you tell him you're not allowed to film my employees on the 15th? Yes. And that's not a blanket rule, correct? Employees can be filmed. That's been asked and answered, Your Honor. I'll allow it. Overall? I have to say I don't know. Okay. And you didn't tell him, pardon me, you told him also that you're not allowed to film my customers. Isn't that correct? Correct. Okay. And there's no prohibition against filming of your customers anywhere in the regulations that you've referred to, or pardon me, the policies that you've referred to, is there? Well, they're standing at the counter. Well, that may be. We can get to that point. But I'm talking about a blanket rule. To your knowledge, there's no blanket rule that Mr. Reyes is prohibited by any policy from filming customers in general, correct? Are you speaking during a certain period of time? On July 15th, let's say. On July 15th? And it's part of the COVID policy. Is that the COVID policy you said had nothing to do with you asking him to leave? Because I didn't mention the word COVID. Well, your testimony is that you asked him to stop filming. You asked him to leave, correct? Correct. We've already established that that wasn't because of COVID. You weren't afraid he was going to give anybody COVID because he was filming, correct? Correct. Okay. And then you indicated to him that he is not allowed to film your employees, correct? Correct. And there's no policy or no blanket rule that says he can't film employees, correct? Part of the COVID policy. Part of the COVID policy. Well, can you show me in Exhibit 6 where filming of customers has to do with the COVID policy, ma'am? Let me show you what's been marked as Exhibit 6. Take a look. That's a full exhibit. You can read it. Well, 
they refer in the first paragraph that this is necessary both for COVID prevention, for public safety, security, and privacy of people with business were appropriate. They refer to that. Does that policy say Mr. Reyes cannot film customers? No, it's just an ask and answer objection. That's the same. Does that policy connect COVID? You don't have to answer when I say sustain, then you say oh, question. I'm sorry. <laughs> Does that policy say that um, you can't film customers because of COVID? Objection has to be That's the same. Okay. And with regard to um, your visitor and entry policy, do you know who, who, who made this policy? The mayor and the HR department. And I think you described the procedure where there was a series of emails that went around or generally received an email. And then did you print this out? I always print out everything. Okay, that may be. But did you print this specific uh, visitor and entry policy out? I printed everything that I sent out. Hold on. Hold on. Hey, You're, when you get to the middle, Reporter saying she's having a hard time fixing. So go back or up? I don't mind if you're here, but just as long so she can get you. I know you're going to want the record. Okay, um, ma'am, this visitor entry policy contained in Exhibit Six. Mm -hmm. Did you print a copy of this out and give it to the state's attorney? Yes. And where did you get it? From City Hall. Okay. Was it posted on the front door of City Hall? So on July 15th, um, you don't know whether or not this visitor entry policy was posted on the front door of the Danbury City Hall, correct? No, I did not. Okay. And I think you indicated that this visitor entry policy may have been on Mr. Janusso's desk? Yes. Second. Where? I don't object because the testimony was that it was, not maybe. That was the mischaracterization. So it's a mischaracterization of testimony? Yes, that's my objection. It, it, why don't you rephrase the question to be more uh, consistent with the testimony? Point. Was this visitor and entry policy contained in Exhibit 6 on Mr. Janusa's desk yes. on the 15th of July, 2021? Yes. Um, did you touch it that day? No. Did you see it on his desk? Yes. Where? Actually, it's on Mr. Reyes's video. Well, I'm asking you if you can recollect where the policy you indicated was in fact on Mr. Janusis' desk, where on the desk it was. It's on the left hand side of Mr. Rice's desk. It was the writing on the visitor and entry policy facing the ceiling? It's laying on the desk. So if it's laying on the desk, the content of the information in visitor and entry policy, the words on this exhibit six were facing the ceiling, correct? When I saw it, yes. When you saw it. And you don't remember, and you can't say that the policy was on the front door of City Hall. Correct? I'm going to allow that as a kind of concluding that aspect. It's a compound question, though. So, yes. split them up. so uh, uh, in addition to it being up, uh, facing uh, ceiling upward, as you recall it. Um, I didn't recall. I saw. It. No, I'm talking about where it's facing. I, I believe it's just saw. Um, so that having been said, I'm, 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 pointing, I'm pointing to the, the issue of who else could see it. So the words on the page are facing the ceiling. They're not posted on a window somewhere that day, correct? I don't know. Okay. But they certainly weren't posted on a window at Mr. Janus's desk because it didn't have a window, correct? Correct. Right. And it wasn't posted, for example, in front of the desk or hanging down off the desk or an individual who walked in and didn't touch Mr. Janusa's desk could see it, correct? I don't come in that way, so I don't know what they do in that direction. Okay, so you would have no way of telling whether anybody had notice of this policy, even if it was on Mr. Janusa's desk, correct? Yeah. Correct. Same thing with the uh, state's exhibit format. This is a full exhibit. You can take a look at that. Mm -hmm. oh, that's also mentioning a sign-in policy. This yeah, 
have a chance to take a look at the sign-in policy line right there? Yes, I see. Does that sign-in policy say that employees cannot be filmed? Say that employees cannot be filmed there. Yes or no? No. And by the way, where are documents uh, processed in the clerk's office? Which documents are you referring to? Documents that are referred to in the policy that's in front of you. Let really? me draw your attention to the language about processing documents mm -hmm. in States Exhibit 4. I think you read that and referred to the final paragraph, correct? Mm -hmm. Doesn't that talk about the processing of documents? Could you um, please point out where you're referring to on this particular one? Yes, I'll, I'll take a look at it. Yeah. In the uh, last bullet point that you just drew my attention to in the last question, it reads, where employees and documents are being processed or submitted. Do you see that language? Yes. Okay, so where are documents processed in the clerk's office? In the clerk's office, depend what documents they are. What about Not all documents are filed in my office? Fair enough. What about secret documents with sensitive information and social security numbers? What about that? You know where they're processed? Well, those that have to do with vitals are in a cage within the, within the vault. Well, I think your earlier testimony was one of the concerns you might have that pertain to documents being filmed were was that they could contain sensitive information or private information, correct? If they're on the counter when they're submitting them. Okay, so in terms of processing of documents, are such documents ever on the counter in the clerk's office? Yes. Do they get processed from there? Yes. Okay, so what would, the, thank you. what would the process be then? Somebody would come in, they would hand a document, and then who would determine whether or not the document contains sensitive information? <laughs> We would, because it would be, if it's a vital, just, and the fact that it's a vital record would show that. If it's a DD-214, that would tell us that it, that it already is. And we would we handle those very are, differently. Are any of those documents subject to Freedom of Information Act requests? Not birth certificates, no. Not birth certificates? What about other documents besides birth certificates? Uh, you can, Land records are, liquor licenses are, uh, marriage licenses, death certificates. Marriage licenses, for example, contain dates of birth of husbands and wives, not their husbands and wives to be. So yeah. they identify the people getting married, correct? We redact, we redact um, the social security numbers, we redact if they're given to someone that's not an immediate family member. That may be, but nonetheless, when they're at the early stage of being processed and being handed, and I presume it's not only you, other members of the clerk's office would, would accept these documents for processing. So you haven't redacted them yet, correct? When the person first comes in there? Well, the process is if someone comes in to get a marriage, the social security numbers are not on that document, okay. and they are not given to the, the individuals at the time of the marriage. It's not until the officiant brings it back. 
that we add social security numbers on there. So if somebody was filming a marriage license that somebody brought in, um, it wouldn't contain any sensitive information in, is that what you're saying? It would not have the social on it yet on a marriage. Okay. Um, on July 15th, 2021, do you remember who was in your office at the time that Mr. Reyes came into the office? I wouldn't remember. We processed a lot of people per day. Okay. Were you involved at that point in processing any sensitive documents for people when Mr. Reyes came into the office? At that particular time? Yes, ma'am. Often, I, I have to say, no, not me as a person at the time. Okay, so you weren't doing that, and there were no sensitive documents on the counter on July 15th, were there? I can't recollect. Sensitive documents, however, was one of the things that you referred to with regard to why you wanted Mr. Reyes to stop filming, correct? That was part of it. Okay. Yeah, on the day, July 15th, you weren't involved in processing any documents that contain sensitive information, correct? Objection has to be answered. Sustained. Were you involved in processing any documents that contain social security numbers on July 15th, 2021, when Mr. Reyes came into your office? I don't recollect. What about your recollection of your other staff at that time? Were they involved in processing documents that contain sensitive information? If you know. Objection to foundation. Well, can I finish the question first? Why don't you finish the question? If you can recall whether anybody else was processing documents that contain sensitive information, like a social security number. Same objection. Any objection? Objection would be on foundational grounds. Because for conclusion, we are foundation. I think the question is whether or not to her best or her recollection there was anybody at that point processing any sensitive materials. Correct, John. Yeah. Um, so I will overrule that objection. Is there any other objection? The formula question is also, I'd also object to. Which one of the pleasure are we talking about? I'll overrule that objection as well. Uh, uh, to your best of your recollection, man, counsel is essentially asking to you not, at that moment in time when Mr. Reyes came in, was, any, was there any significant, any significant private documents being processed? I wouldn't recollect this time. There's your answer, Jim. Okay. So if you told Mr. Reyes to stop filming because you had a concern for him filming sensitive documents, including social security numbers, documents containing social security numbers that were on the counter or being processed, would you remember that? I did not say as a document for the reason why we shouldn't be in the office. That may be. Um, but the policy that's in front of you has been cited uh, as a basis to prevent somebody's filming for, among other reasons, the prospect of the film encountering sensitive documents, correct? Isn't that what the last line of Exhibit 4 says, ma'am? filming, it's not because he has filmed any sensitive documents, correct? No. Objection. That causes speculation. I don't think it does. I'm going to overrule it. And it's not because he's filming social security numbers, correct? No. And it's not simply because he's filming people in your office, correct? Part of it. Okay, let's go with members of the public. You're not asking to stop filming because he's filming members of the public, are you? Objection, that was the testimony. 
mischaracterization of testimony sustained. With respect to what you're asking Mr. Reyes at the time on July 15th, when you're asking him to stop filming, um, was that because he was filming your customers? Well, didn't you say, ma'am, on the video, when you, when you watch the video and Mr. Reyes comes into the office, ma'am, don't you say you can't film my customers? Yes or no? Yes, I do. Okay. So one of the reasons why you tell Mr. Reyes to stop filming is because he's filming your customers, correct? And those are your words on the video, correct? Objection. I'm just going to object. For a fact, raising the voice, there's no need for it. This is badgering. I don't see the point of it. So, I, I, I mean, it, it's borderline argumentative, but certainly it's a lot of those cross examination. But uh, I think this line of questioning has been played out. I've seen the video. I've seen the video twice, actually, uh, during this trial. And I've heard her cross examination answers with regard to the video. Keep going with it. Okay. So, you do tell Mr. Reyes, you can't film my employees. You can't film my customers when he comes into your office, correct? Objection. Calm down. Sustain. I'm going to the same issue again, Judge. Well, I told Mr. Reyes that you can't film your employees, correct? He's the answer to the question. So, see here, this has all been asked. She's answered all of the questions multiple times. Is, is filming employees a breach of the policy in your office? Objection that calls for a legal conclusion. I don't allow that question. As it said, this COVID time, things were much different in our office. Uh, okay. Yeah, on, the, on July 15th, when you've seen the video, the state's exhibit, um, when you're in your office and you see Mr. Reyes for the first time, where's Phil Janusa? Uh, he, he's just come up to the door. Isn't he hiding around the corner and then as soon as Mr. Reyes comes out, he pops out and gets in front of Mr. Reyes? Isn't that what, uh, what happened? Objection calls for speculation foundation. I'm going to allow the question essentially, isn't that what you saw in the video? Yes. Okay. So, Mr. Janus is already, when Mr. Reyes comes through the door, correct? He's already there to stop him, correct? When he came ahead to tell me that he was here. Okay. And when he does come in, when Mr. Reyes does come in the town clerk's office, does he kick the door down? Does he bust the door down? I would hope not. Does he bust in there unannounced and say, hey, I'm Mr. Reyes. I'm here to, to do something in the town clerk's office. Is that what he does? Objection. This is argumentative. The video speaks for itself. It does, but I'll allow the question. So we, we get the point, Tracy. He didn't bust in your office, did he? No. But that's what you told the police, correct? Objection has been asked and answered. She didn't recall. You don't recall, Father? Okay. That was a test. Yeah. 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 Um, and when Mr. Reyes does enter your office, is he speaking to you at all when he walks in? Can you hear the phone? When he walks into your office on the second floor on July 15, 2001, and he walks into your office, does he begin a conversation with you? I'm not videoing. Okay. Um, does he converse with Mr. Phil, Phil Janusa? I don't Do you recall from the video that a conversation between Mr. Janusa? Tracy, are you asking the witness to comment on a video that I saw as a finder of fact? Well, I'm asking her what her recollection is. to what's on the video that no. I saw? No, I, I'm just asking her because there's other evidence that her testimony could be linked up to. If there's a, a question you want to answer, but ask that she would answer it would be something I haven't seen or heard. Let's do that. We would have to do a motion in limine for that. Program. 
but we have to take that up for that purpose, and that's probably my issue. You that, right now you're asking her to comment on a video I've seen twice. What she thinks she sees in the video doesn't matter. It's what I think I've seen in the video. I mean, if you're asking her to comment on the video, I'm going to I'm going to sustain counsel's objection. If you're going to ask her a question pertaining to the video, something she witnessed, observed, was part of that day, I'll be happy to hear the questions. Okay. Answers. So then, for the record, to make sure that there's no confusion, these questions are not directed at the video. Um, the, that last question, yes, exactly but, what? Uh, just for the record, I think I am within my bounds, so to speak, to ask her what her personal recollection of the events are. In How terms is that of relevant to my, my obligation to find what happened here as a fact You can believe or not believe her. That's I watched the video. It's not on the video, Judge. That's not what you asked. You said, isn't it true on the video you saw X? So that, that, that question, the objection to that question is sustained. Okay. Ask another question. All right, now, you, did you say you didn't recall any conversation with Mr. Farrell, the arresting officer, on July 15th? No. You don't recall that? No. Okay, fair enough. You were asked some questions about the tax collector's office, I believe. Council asked some questions. And you saw a video of approximately 219. Um, and that depicting Mr. Reyes filming the tax collector's office. Do you recall, first question, do you recall that portion from the video? Okay. okay. Did anybody tell Mr. Reyes that he wasn't allowed to do that? If you know. I wouldn't know. And based on your viewing of the video, you identified the town, I'm sorry, let's get the name right, Judge. The, uh, the tax collector's office, correct? Yeah. Okay. And when you viewed the video, um, did anybody come out and tell Mr. Reyes to stop filming the tax collector's office? I wouldn't know. I was in my office. Okay. So you weren't even there at that point? No. Okay. Did you get any complaints from the tax collector's office that Mr. Reyes busted in and interfered with their conducting business? Objection calls for hearsay outside of the scope of direct relevancy. Would be effects on the listener, Your Honor. Sustained. If she got a complaint, she would have to Turn act on a complaint. The objection is sustained. May I preserve the record then, Your Honor? The question I'm asking is designed to determine whether or not she received. Whether or not the tax collector makes complaints to the town clerk? Whether the tax collector, an area where my client filmed peacefully, resulted in a complaint to the witness who's on the stand testifying for the purposes of whether she received the complaint, not the words in the complaint, which would be hearsay. That's for the record. <coughs> I, was submit, I state uh, maintains its three grounds for the admissibility of this, the, the objection of these statements. Objection is sustained. Continue your cross-examination, You identify a sign on the wall at the tax collector's office when you were asked by counsel after you were shown the tax collector's office a portion of the video. Do you recall that? Yes. And it said no cell phones at the counter. Is that what your interpretation of the sign was? Yes. Okay. And do you recall whether anybody in the tax collector's office had a cell phone? I wouldn't know. Do you have a sign that says no cell phones at the counter in the town clerk's office? We have one by the wall. Okay, um, is that prominently displayed for the public to see? Okay, and there were people in the town clerk's office on July 15, 2021, with cell phones, correct? Outside of Mr. Reyes. Objection, how do you know that? Let's if you know. Foundation. If you know the answer to that question. He's I saying, know. what are you? We don't have a sign at the counter. We have a sign going into <coughs> the vault. Okay. Um, so that sign in the vault. Uh, it pertains to uh, cell phone usage in the office or inside the vault? Inside the vault. Okay. Now, when Mr. Reyes enters your office, after he opens the door, what part of the office would he have been in? Foyer. Okay, and, and do you know how far away, if you can, if you can tell how far away the counter is from the foyer? It borders it. It borders it? It borders it. 
I'm sorry, I'm not getting it. Order. 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 It's at the, it's the, like at the end of it you walk in the foyer and there's the and there's Oh, the I see. Okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> would you have to take a, a few steps to get from the entryway of the door to the counter? Yeah. How many do you think, if you know? I think it's, I think we have like uh, six feet, maybe. Something six feet. Like okay. And do you know whether or not the visitor entry policy contained in Exhibit 6 uh, prohibits anybody from filming in the office foyer? Just not across the counter. So then uh, your understanding of Exhibit 6, the visitor and entry policy, um, your understanding is that somebody could film from the foyer but not across the counter? Yeah, if he stood at the counter looking out, he could, he could, he could video that. So if Mr. Reyes came into the clerk's office, by the way, he never made it to the counter, correct? No. So if Mr. Reyes did make it to the counter, he turned his back around, and then he filmed everything, your view is that he could do that because that's, that's filming the foyer? Correct. Okay. There's nothing in the policy that says where somebody who wants to stand and film the foyer has to do that with his back towards the counter, is there? No. Now, when you're in the clerk's office, I think we had a, con we had a, uh, a line of questioning that dealt with who was speaking to who in the office. And I asked you, was Mr. Reyes ever involved in speaking with Mr. Janusa? Do you recall that? He did speak with them. Yeah, you remember. And I was with him, yeah. Okay. And what about you? Did you speak with them? With, to who? with, with the, Mr. Reyes? Mr. Reyes, I'm sorry. Now. Yes. Okay. And who did Mr. Reyes start speaking with first? You or Mr. Janusa? And, and that's because you're behind the counter at least a few steps and the first thing first encounter between you and Mr. Reyes is you using your voice carrying words to reach Mr. Reyes correct? Objection. I came out. This is all captured on the video. It, is the question I asked you to confirm what I saw in the video that the first step before I see her I hear her? Is that the question? That and also I think that um, the line of questioning is designed because we're dealing with a creating a public disturbance case, which does, in some sense, link up to noise and loudness. Um, that there would be a reason for the question because if she's behind the counter. I'm not necessarily. I, I was yeah. asking if the question right now is for asking her to comment on whether or not I heard her voice before I saw her face. Yes. You can answer that question, man. I I did speak from the other side of the counter first. And you didn't whisper to him, right? No. You had to have felt. Right. So you had to use a voice loud enough mm -hmm. so that he would hear you. That was your intention, correct? Correct. And there were people in the office at that time, correct? Correct. And, and what about Mr. Janusa? Um, could you hear him from where you were standing talking to Mr. Reyes when you were behind the counter? I don't recall. Was Mr. Janusa being loud with Mr. Reyes? I don't recall I was concentrating on my own situation. All right, hold on. It's 4.32. We are going to be on. <coughs> Unless you're wrapping up, we're going to begin on Monday. Monday, yes, sir. Okay, so I assume you are not wrapping So we're, we, we will begin on Monday. Yes, sir. Uh, so uh, Monday's not going to have a new but generally speaking, we usually fairly good shape. I don't think you have any we're looking at Monday. It's, it's pretty bad. Mm -hmm. So, well, uh, the reason why is there's 33 matters, but that's on Judge Pavi's side. So I, I'm showing uh, 74 plus 14 on the end of it. it should, we should be in fairly good shape. That, those extra 33 cases are Judge Pavi's. 
Okay. Uh, at least that's how I'm reading this. So uh, we should be in fairly good shape to start as close to 215 as possible. So uh, we'll continue with that schedule. Uh, I don't want to be overly optimistic that we'll start any earlier than that, but 215 would be the target start time, but we'll go right to 430 again. Um, 215? 2 o'clock council has been super great about being here on, and time and suddenly again and giving uh, the media a chance to set up, and then we start at 215. And we, so, uh, man, you are, you, you are not done with your testimony, so you'll be back on the stand at that time on Monday, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, anything further? There you go. I appreciate it. Judge, here's Tracy. I, I, I did inquire uh, based on my reminder. I, I know the court had a copy of my January 17th motion eliminate. I tried to make sure the clerk had them also. The follow the procedure, she copies them and gives them to you. But I inadvertently only gave you a copy of the January 17th uh, motion. I'll have to, I assume I get things there. there. Courtesy copies and the clerk has yes. the original. That was my intention, but I, I lost Okay, so we'll fit, and if, okay. if you have to print another one, if I, if I have it, we'll, okay. no harm, no harm. Thank you very much. I appreciate and, it. Anything further? No. I appreciate everybody's diligence and this. We'll see you on Monday. Have a good weekend. All right. Good night, ladies and gentlemen.